Hi everybody, Aaron here. About three weeks ago I made a lamp with a figurine for a special child. It's a good friend of mine, daughter. And today I'm making one for her twin sister. Um, you'll have to stick to the end of the video. It's unbelievably beautiful and it's easy to do. And let me show you how I'm doing it step by step. First of all, I'm using the same container that I'm going to use as the, as the mold. I'm using it also as a mixing bowl, so I don't have to use another uh, piece of plastic to mix inside. So the idea was to pull it out of the pressure pot when it's still soft a little bit, but I think I left it too long and it's hard, so I had no choice. I had to drill um, four holes, put some resin in, and um, then I put the uh, the marbles and I'm using holographic sparkle and the uh, prism sparkle um, just to give it the the shine like the the universe and of course don't forget to like my video and subscribe if you didn't subscribe so far and um, just don't forget to put some comments at the bottom and remarks and if it's good or is it bad um, that's the second pour that I'm going to do. I made it a little bit more bluish, just divided a little bit. So I put some more sparkle on top, some more prism on top uh, to give it the, the universe, again, to give it the universe feeling on it. It's actually not a wood turning project, this one. Uh, it's more like a resin turning project. But it's a fun project. I enjoyed it. Um, and the result is nice. You have to stick to the end to see the result. I'm creating a very small tenet, a very small one, uh, just so I can hold it on a mini chuck. And, and I, I, I want to leave it on purpose on, so the light from underneath, you'll see how I'm putting the light later, will reflect on this piece also. As you can see, I'm, I'm using all the tools that I'm using are carbine tools. Um, and I had actually somebody asked me, I was thinking about this, somebody asked me before, um, how many times do I use my carbine tools? Um, I'm using easy tools uh, before I throw it away. So first of all, I don't throw it away. I resharp, I resharpen it. There is few videos on, on on YouTube, how do you sharpen a, a carbine? And I try them, and it works perfectly. So I re do resharpen them, unless I break or I chip one of them. I'm getting to the shape that I wanted, uh, and when you stop, you'll see there is too dark marks on, on, you can see them here, you can see them. And that's actually air bubbles that for some reason or other had over there. So I'm just cutting one layer a little bit more and I'm fixing those air bubbles. When I use when I use resin, uh, I I send it down from 120 all the way to 600, and then I move to pads, um, normal pad, fine pad, um, very fine pad, and microfine, 
and up for the with the pads I'm using water and I'm removing the dust away all the time with the water so it doesn't scratch it makes it much easier much much clearer to do because I like to all the time like to go all the way to shine to clear to shine clear crystal clear without using a resin on top of it and of course I'm using Novas uh, 3-2 uh, 3 is for the heavy scratches and 2 is for the fine scratches and um, that's how I'm getting the, the final shine and the crystal clear without scratches whatsoever and um, the only problem I've got with the Novas is very difficult to get it because I'm, I need to import it from the states and it's um, um, it's a mission but uh, it works for me perfectly you can see how shiny it came out and you can see already the the marbles inside that looks like continents it looks like stars like uh, uh, it's and, and and the sparkle around it looks like the universe I'm putting on the tailstock um, a soft uh, end, um, a soft piece so it doesn't scratch and it doesn't damage. I didn't want to put the, the sharp one, the metal one. So um, it's actually uh, a soft one that I use usually for uh, spheres. I'm using this one. It gives me such a satisfaction when I manage to do a long string without breaking it halfway. It's really, really fun. It's, <laughs> how do I explain it? It's, for people that are doing resin, they'll understand maybe what I'm saying. One long string, you, go you can go fishing with it later. I have to check all the time and double check that I'm not getting to the area where are the marbles because if I hit the marble the whole thing will explode on me and um, that's for sure when I'll hit the marble I'll, I'll, the thing is gone uh, so I have to be very careful all the time I'm just checking all the time that I'm not hitting the area of the marbles very smooth and I made some grooves um, with my round carbine into the skirt so it will look like waves you can see it now you'll see it better a little bit later the same like the other side um, 120, 600 uh, wet pads, um, and then I'm using um, Novas uh, 3 2. Um, I, I started saying about the Novas. Novas I managed to get usually from Amazon, but lately Amazon doesn't want to send anymore to South Africa. So I need to find another solution how I'm going to get um, Novas into, into South Africa for me to be used. It's a shout out there. Anybody knows anybody at Novas? Uh, Polish, plastic Polish that uh, can put me through to them so I can, they can send it to me. I don't want it for free. I just want it to be able to use it. Look how beautiful it's shiny it is already. But that's it before I put the number two, the fine scratches one, and I remove the fine scratches. It's unbelievable.
What do you think? What what do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Now I'm starting with my stand. I had a piece of I had a different idea that I, I'll be very honest that I tried didn't work with some stars inside. It didn't work for me. It, it's something gone wrong. I'll have to th rethink the idea. So I have a piece of wild olive uh, left from another project, um, and I'm using this one uh, as a um, how you call it as um, as my stand. I'm drilling only one centimeter deep with this one, then I'm changing to a smaller one, and I will drill right through. But I have to be very careful in the end, and actually I managed to stop it a milli before the end. One twenty four hundred Yorkshire grid, and then friction polish. I'll drill now um, a hole on the side, and that will be for the um, this one. It will be for the connectors of the power of the um, LEDs power. The LEDs got glues on one side, so I'll be able to to glue them. This one I'm gluing with super glue, but they've got you see they've got glue on one side, and I'll stick them to the side of the of the stand. A bit of epoxy. And I will glue the top on top of it and we'll move to the next stage. What do you think, guys? What do you really think? Don't you think it's beautiful? I think it's beautiful. It's an easy project. It's a simple project, but it looks beautiful, and I hope she will love it. I hope my friend's daughter will love it. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like my channel. And I will see you on my next video. But wait, wait a second. There is some photos at in the night. There is some photos, sorry, in the dark that you can see it how it looks in the dark. Look at it. Unbelievable. Looks like another universe. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.